Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do some very easy color grading using the HSL filter. So uh, what we're going to do, base it on is the 12 points here around the color wheel, uh, which are of course the primary colors, the secondary colors, and these in between are the tertiary colors. So orange, for example, here is uh, an 8-bit scheme 255 red, 128 green, and 0 blue. So it's one put, click over, effectively, see it's closer to red than to green. And 30 degrees for the when you measure an angle with red as 0, and then 60, so on, round for the others. And we're going to base it on this one here so we can see what's happening as we go. So let's start off then, just bring up an HSL. And we're going to do this by using the selection points along here and then with a hue shift. So a way to do this is just you pick complementary. If you're using complementary scheme, you just pick opposite ones. So any ones which are opposite and then adjust things to suit. A very common one in the movies is teal and orange, which is teal down here and orange up here or orange and teal, if you want to say that way around. And so let's start off then. I'm going to go to red. And I want red to here, I want this to go orange. And to do that, I'm just going to slide this here until you can see the red here going orange. And you can also see here that red is before on the inside and the changed one is on the outside. So the orange is kind of appearing there. So we bring this up, up here, and if you bring it around here, notice, by the way, because there is red in orange, we are also, this orange colour is, cha is changing, so we don't expect those two to be the same yet. And if the angle here is 30 degrees between them, 0 degrees to 30 degrees, and we're going backwards here, anti-clockwise, and so we, as we go up here, we can actually go to here and type minus 30. And when we do that, Try that again, minus 30. I typed it in wrong, that's better. So now red is orange. But this is different here, but let's get around to yellow. So we click on the yellows. Now this is 30 degrees in this direction. So if I just type in 30 here, and there we go. So that has pulled back the orange here, and all three now are orange. I can do the same going around to greens. Go down to greens. And this is one, two, three steps around from the orange, which we want to convert it to. So that's 30, 60, 90. So we'll just put in here 90. And there we go. So we've made all of those orange. We're not going to worry about the rose and the spring here because they are sort of like halfway between the two. But we can do the same the rest here. So cyan here, it's anti-clockwise. So let's try minus 30. Then go to blue. And then from teal, that's plus 30 on. And then the magenta, like before, teal, it's one, two, three steps on. So that's 90. It's three threes. And there we go. We've got our HSL here with half teal, sorry, half orange here, half teal here. And the, those two halfway between, we're not changing. I can just click on this now, Control C to copy it, go to an image, and then Control V to paste that in. And here we are, we've got our teal and orange conversion. And you can see here, this teal throughout down here, orange has appeared up here, it, it, the Bushes here were green, but bushes of foliage is, is closer to yellow normally, so that gets pushed to the orange. You can see there's orange in the shadows here, teal always in the sky. See the do before and after. See before, see this is kind of a little bit on the purple side, but that goes a lot bluer there. So it works, it's quite useful. One thing to note with it, by the way, and I'll control C, copy this here. When I put this onto a smooth wheel like this, you can see it's not actually exactly the right going around here. 
because it literally goes up and down. So it, it is up an approximation, it's not perfect. What you'd have to do with this is to go to each one of these and then start playing around with all of these here to you know maybe sort of smooth things out like that. It's never going to be perfect. You won't get it completely smooth. So HSL is an approximation doing it the way we showed, but it is easy and it works in practice. So I don't worry about the variation in there. I can just use it like that. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.